What are the results of the first ever AIP medical study? Let's talk about it. I'm Adam and today we're going to be talking about some awesome news that just came out recently. There has been an AIP medical study done on IBD, that's ulcerative colitis and Crohn's and well the results are in. They actually came in a year ago but I wanted to tie it into something that's happening now. So let's go over that first study and then we'll talk about what's going on now. AIP Wellness is this website ran by Angie Alt and Mickey Trescott. Now they are big names in the AIP community. I think most of you have probably heard of them. Um, definitely check out their website. I will leave links to everything in the uh, description below. Uh, but basically this doctor approached them in 2015. Dr. Conagetti. I'm gonna use Dr. K instead because I, I'm sure I'm butchering that name. Now a patient of Dr. K's approached her and let her know some significant results of doing the autoimmune protocol AIP. So Dr. K decided to figure out if this was viable, you know, for the rest of her patients. Um, so she got with Angie Alt. So Angie Alt had this health program called SAD to AIP in six, which is basically um, a health program to help people transition from the standard American diet to the autoimmune protocol in six weeks, right? Dr. K asked Angie Alt if they would be able to use their um, program to help do the study. And of course they said yes. Um, so they did it. It took them about a year to put the study together. So they didn't start a year later till September in 2016. They were able to get 15 different participants that either had ulcerative colitis or Crohn's. So in the IBD um, umbrella. So here's the results because I'm sure you're curious uh, just like I was. 11 of the 15 participants achieved clinical remission within the six weeks. And yes, that is as amazing as it sounds. That's 73% of the participants. Um, admittedly, this was just a small study, um, but these are some amazing results. And I think what helped was having it be such a small group because, you know, the team, uh, Angie and the team were able to focus on individually helping uh, these participants one-on-one. -on -one. And I think that is really a big deal with AIP because people, they need a personalized approach. They did focus on other things like lifestyle, not just diet. So they did focus on de-stressing and management and sunlight and, you know, exercise, getting movement. So these are all factors, of course. So what does this mean? Um, well, this means that this is basically the best method to finding autoimmune remission. Um, this has almost better results than any drug therapy that I've ever heard of. It's, it's amazing. Uh, and it's a little hard to contain my excitement, honestly, because I just read this recently. I, I had no idea the study even existed. I'm sure a lot of you are just hearing it now for the first time. And I'm sure you're curious, you know, were some of these people on immune suppressants? Well, here's the data on that. Seven of the 15 were on biological therapies like immune suppressants, but not a remission going into the study. That's key, right? Patients were advised not to change medications throughout the study. However, two did. Uh, one cut out oral medications and the other cut out suppositories. And they were both able to achieve clinical remission and two were able to discontinue steroid therapy altogether. And for some people, it's gonna take a lot longer than six weeks, right? I just talked to a lady the other night that said she found remission after a year of doing AIP. And she had little improvement that whole year until a year later. and. That's just the way it is for some people. Some people require a lot longer. Even for me, it took a little longer. Of course, I made some mistakes early on and I've made um, videos about that. Check out my video on that here. So there's the results for Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. If you have digestive issues, this is probably the way to go. What does this do for us? What exactly does this do? What's the point of this, right? Well, it opens up a good conversation between regular people and the medical community about another viable option. An option that people may want to choose over certain therapies, drugs, because we know those have negative long-term effects over, you know, a period of time. We know that, right? So this may be the right choice for some people. I'm not saying it's for everybody. But, you know, take what you want from this. 73% in six weeks. <laughs> I was jumping up and down. I don't need to jump. I've read it a few times, so I'm good. But just, just keep this in the back of your mind, okay? So what does this mean for the future? Well, because of this awesome success, the team over at AIP Wellness and Dr. Rob Abbott, the medical director 
over at Autoimmune Paleo um, have decided to do another pilot study, but this time on Hashimoto's disease. And a lot of you have this, I know this, because I, I talk to you guys all the time. This is what AIP Wellness says, about half of their AIP community has Hashimoto's. So it's a fairly common autoimmune disease to have, it seems like. They're going to be starting this medical study in the upcoming month. But they're also trying to find funding for this. As you know, all these studies and tests are very expensive. So they're trying to raise a certain amount of money. I will leave the info to that in the description below. Now, I just read Mickey Trescott's story on her Hashimoto's. Apparently, she was diagnosed seven years ago. And doctors told her that diet had no impact on her disease. So, you know, this kind of hits close to home. As most of you know, I have HS, hydrogenitis suppurativa. I was stage three and I put it in remission with um, diet alone, right? And some different lifestyle changes, but mostly diet. And I asked the doctors, you know, because I had heard about nightshades at the time, but that was about it. I, I wasn't fully into paleo, uh, although I did that for a year before AIP uh, with a little bit of improvement. Uh, but they told me that diet has no effect on autoimmune disease and if I had listened to them I would not be the person I am today I would still be a victim and I might even have that victim mentality that keeps us from finding success or anything any viable treatment to help our autoimmune disease any improvement at all I cannot stress enough how important it is to be a health hero to always be searching for better health and that's that's why I made this channel to help you guys because I know you're always searching for a better method and I always was and I tried a million different things before I found AIP so I you know I I, I definitely recommend trying AIP first the autoimmune protocol because it it's everything to me it was a miracle and I, I hope you at least give it a try uh, but yeah they did and they found remission it's awesome right you, you want that this is what you want trust me that's gonna be all the news that I have for you today I hope you check out those links I leave in the description um, help fund the program if nothing else spread the word about it um, if that's all you can do that's awesome okay that's what we need we need awareness of all these things going on and spread the news that AIP works alright I'm Adam and this has been Immune News Thanks for watching. See you next time.